Hi everyone, welcome back, thank you for joining me. Um, I've been having so much fun with these open cup pours that I wanted to do another one. So the colours that I'm going to use are pink, gold and white. So I'm going to use some Liquitex Basics um, Gold and some Deco Art Pink Tourmaloin Extreme Sheen and the also and I went and moved that back too which I don't know why I did that um, my white is the Eraldo white mixed with a bit of the Deco Art Satin Enamels and then I've got the Senalia. Senalia. And this one is Fluorescent Rose. Also Senalia Granacridone Pink. Oh, and that's not going to stand up because I popped the bottom. And the last one is this one, and I actually found it today. It's JSART brand, and it says it's pink lip gloss, and it says glitter, but it is acrylic paint. It says up here acrylic paint, um, but it's very glittery, and it sort of reminds me the consistency of glue uh, with glitter in it, but it says acrylic paint, So, and it was pretty, so I thought I'd give it a try. So I picked that up at the shops today when I was there. Alrighty, so I'm going to put them in uh, layers and I thought I would do a few layers of each. I'm very curious to see how this uh, comes out. So I'll put a bit of white in. And then I'll go pink tourmaline from Extreme Sheen. And a bit of gold. And then I'm going to go a bit of white again. And then this one is the quinacridone pink. And then I will go the lip gloss pink glitter one. And then I'll go a little bit of white again. Just hope I'm not putting too much white. Then I'll go the fluoro pink. And a bit more the tourmaline. Get three layers, I hope. And a bit of the gold. white quinacridone pink no this is the glitter one the lip gloss this is the quinacridone And then the fluorescent. And white. All right, 
like this will be the last layer. I love this colour. I think it's very pretty. And then the gold. Glitter pink. Oh, also, my uh, canvas is a twelve by sixteen canvas, and my pouring medium and all the info is in the description box. But um, my pouring medium is. Um, Floetrol and Liquitex pouring medium and I do um, like say 40 grams of Floetrol I'll do uh, 20 grams of pouring medium so 2 to 1 basically um, And then I mix that three to one with my paint, except for the deco art, it was one to one because it's already a very fluid paint. And the JS art, uh, it was about one, one and a half to one. So it was, it was, it's uh, quite fluid too, but not as fluid as the deco art. A little bit of white there. Then the fluoro. Love this colour. It's absolutely beautiful. These Sennelia brand paints, I uh, got one uh, quite a while ago now, and I tried it, and I loved it. So I got in and ordered a heap more uh, Amsterdam, and the same place has these. So I ordered uh, quite a few of these in different colours because um, I actually quite like them and to me they're very very similar to the Amsterdam paint um, so I'm giving them a bit of a trial and if I like them as much as I did the first time I tried it and my results are good then um, I'm gonna find more of them because they're actually a bit more cheaper and they're a heavier bodied paint than um, Amsterdam as well so I use very little of it compared to a lot of the others that I have alrighty now I'm going to attempt to do rings but as it's my first time I'm not quite sure how it's gonna how successful I'm going to be at doing it so I'm gonna pour just a little bit out first 
and then I will start the ring. I just want to get it down a bit. I didn't realise I had mixed up so much. I was actually uh, a bit worried that I wasn't going to have enough. And it turns out I've got like a full cup. So I want to get a bit out first before I start my rings. Oh, here comes the gold. Alrighty, well, that's turned out very pretty. Let's see if I can't get um, a bit of a nice composition out of this. I will just torch my bubbles because I did mix these paints up yesterday, but I was planning on using just a little 8x10 canvas and then. The more I looked at the colours, the more I liked it, and I'm like, no, I would want to go a bigger canvas than an 8x10. So then I mixed some more up, but they have been sitting uh, for quite a while. But there were still quite a few bubbles. Alrighty, let's go down uh, this way. And I forgot to get more paint so I didn't have this rolling on each other but anyway not much I can do about it now Don't want to lose all this gold, but I am. Looks a bit like an eye of a storm. Tornado. Tornado in pink. All right, got more bubbles in there, so I'll torch them out too, and then take a second to look at this and see what I want to do with it. I'm not getting the cloud that I thought I would get. Very sparkly though. We've got rows and rows and rows of glitter. Um, I'm 
Not much liking the way that center is. Where's my gold? Just grab my pouring medium that I have mixed up over here. And just quickly mix up a tiny itty bitty bit of gold and see if I can't put in um, a little bit of gold in there somewhere just to break that up a little bit. Wow, we're getting a lot of storm out there at the moment. Just heard my tarp going wild. Actually put a bit too much pouring medium in this it's a bit thinner and it's sinking There we go. I think that's a little bit better. You guys think. 
little bits of gold popping in there. And I have a little bit of a gob right there. Where's that other bit I found? Alrighty, well thank you guys for watching me. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, and don't forget to hit your little bell. That will uh, let you know when I put out a new video. And if you liked what you see, please um, hit the like button. That's run out of gas. I don't know. I don't think they're bubbles. No, they're not. go fixed and um, oh before I forget um, show and tell show and tell here is uh, my piece it's dry it has come up beautifully no cracking or anything like that So it has turned out lovely and also these two little ones have dried. Um, I'll sit that one down there for a second. This one has come out beautifully. Absolutely lovely. I love it. And then this one, now this one I'm not quite sure of, this one. Um, I liked it uh, when it was wet, but I think I've lost sort of some of the, I don't know what to it, but I'm just not quite sure about it now. I don't know if I put the resin on it, if it will come back up to what it was or whether I'll paint over it. I haven't quite made up my mind on that one. Um, oh yes, and this one. It's still a little wet um, in the middle, but mostly dried. No cracking. It's turned out gorgeous, but it's uh, still wet in here, in this section in here. So it is. But it has turned out lovely. And the other one I've done that has the waterfall in it, it is still too wet. Um, I think maybe... It's still very wet, but it's dry enough on the edges. To show, it hasn't cracked or anything either, but as you can see, it's still very wet in the center. So yeah, it, it's coming up absolutely lovely. Very, very happy with both of those. So I am. They will be going on my wall once they get some resin on them. And I'm loving this. I really am. Alrighty guys, well thank you for joining me. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. And um, stay tuned for the next one. Bye.